Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Tuesday, November 26th, 2019. Please keep in mind that this is, well, it's a general reading, yes, but also time is an illusion. Energies are fluid, yeah? So this does not have to resonate only for the 26th of November. This can resonate at any time for you when the moment is right okay excellent so getting into it today well first actually <clears throat> first i do want to share a, a cute little story so i got up this morning and i was meditating and i don't know if this had if it had to do with the fact that i got a little bit of a late start today i'm actually starting half an hour later than i normally do um i woke up at like 3 30 in the morning and then like could not go back to sleep which is just my favorite thing ever but <laughs> anyway i woke up this morning i got up and i was you know sitting on my bed doing my morning meditation just connecting to the universe for a few moments and a starling came and flew on and flew up and landed on my windowsill right next like right with an eye shot of me um and was just chatting away it was the cutest thing ever and then another one came and joined it and it was almost as as if the collective um was kind of like greeting me and like the starlings those two starlings were like bringing forward the message that we had for the collective today it was the cutest thing ever i loved it i had to share that with you guys okay so getting into to to today's energy um I was sitting here just shuffling and channeling and, and connecting and I saw the color for the day or for the moment, if that resonates with you more, is purple. But it was purple in a sense that it has like some blues in there and some like starry stuff and like maybe and some like speckles here or there. Very similar to like how this um, amethyst orb looks, right? And then the chariot came out and look at that color scheme looks just like I was seeing, okay? So I really feel like you guys, or we as a collective, are very much on our way towards something. And I'm hearing the future. Whatever it is you're meant for, whatever it is that's going to make you happy, okay? Um, there could be an energy of waiting for some ships to come in. Your overall energy here is the Two of Pentacles. Um, you could be waiting for a specific opportunity. You may have been waiting for a specific opportunity and keeping things in balance, keeping things in check in the meantime. On the other side of the deck, we do have the Queen of Wands, okay? So this could be the feminine here, but it doesn't, it really doesn't have to be, okay? Um, the Queen of Wands represents an energy of, in my opinion, as a reader, I see the Queen of Wands as a physical embodiment of the law of attraction, okay? So, um, and I see that because she being the feminine, she is receptive. She's also charismatic. She's bubbly. She's fun. She's a social butterfly. She's beautiful. She's very sure of herself, very confident, um, very much aware, in tune with who she is, and is very much n not willing to be anything less than her authentic self, right? Now, this could be someone that is more feminine in nature but again it doesn't have to be okay because what i'm really feeling here is yes you are in fact moving towards your goals you are in fact creating some sort of new opportunity for yourself but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're taking all action steps there's also an energy of being patient and biding your time and aligning with what it is you truly desire okay interesting so the roots here or yeah it looks like all these roots that are here on this the back of her throne they just caught my attention and actually i just picked up the fact that some of you might have some things that you need to sort out first some things that you might need to untangle I'm hearing some family ties or some something that's like deeply rooted in your soul or in your psyche. You might be working on untangling those things, which could be why you have this two of pentacles here. OK, it, it, but I'm but I say that to say this is not something that is a bad thing. 
okay it's not a hindrance it's not like you're dealing with some major setback or anything like that it's just a matter of you doing what you need to do in order to get what it is you want and part of the energy of um like untangling certain things or certain aspects of your life is very much directly related to you getting into the flow the frequency or the um well yeah the the the, the alignment getting into the alignment with what it is you truly want what it is you're working for what it is you're striving for okay this is this is a really good energy i'm just this feels good this really definitely does feel good mm. Ooh, let me tell you y'all i made some strong ass coffee this morning <laughs> Okay, let's get into the rest of the reading here and see what else we've got for you. Please uh, excuse if you're hearing all the construction that's going on outside. Interesting. Oh boy. Well, we have the Queen of Cups and the Hierophant that just came out here. Okay, so this is speaking to part of the what it is that you are, some of you are untangling. Um, and this could, now this really could be speaking to the feminine here. There could be some women specifically, or maybe some feminine figures, especially if you're a man that's more feminine. Um, I'm, I'm, it's like you're facing, you're facing some sort of, uh, instant. I'm sorry. I'm looking for the right words for this. You're facing some sort of instance of um, indoctrination. Um, ways you may have been manipulated. Ways you may have been controlled. Um, I just. And then with the overall energy, you have this Three of Swords here and the Ace of Pentacles now. So it's just, I feel like you're, fa what I'm hearing is you're, some of you are facing some sort of heartbreak manipulation at the hands of higher ups, people that were in control, maybe religion. Um, you're facing some sort of dogma, some, some, some sort of conformity. You're, you also may be facing some lessons, okay? It doesn't have to be all about like conformity, dogma, whatnot, whatever religion, religion or whatnot. You could be facing some lessons. Okay, because the Hierophant does represent teaching and learning, okay? Um, and it, so it could be something that, you know, was really heartbreaking for you and you're, you're looking back on it that, and working on gaining maybe some sort of emotional stability. Coming to terms with some sort of aspect, some sort of lesson that you had to learn. But that's ultimately providing you with a new opportunity. Or you are facing these things with intentions of, of providing yourself with a new opportunity. It's very similar to the energy that I was picking up on with the Queen of Wands in terms of some of you might be unraveling some things, uprooting some things that have been holding you back. So this really could be dogmatic teachings, religious dogma, um, religious teachings. Uh, um, oh, excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> Mm. Um, some sort of family tradition, just whatever is, has been strongly rooted um, in your psyche that has been uh, emotionally damaging to you, potentially, or maybe you're facing the emotions of coming to some sort of realizations about some ways that you may have been manipulated in the past. Um, there's just, there's definitely an energy of coming to terms with some things and putting it to rest, unraveling it so that you can move forward towards your goals and your dreams. And those instances, those aspects of your past won't hold you back any longer, okay? That's excellent, you guys. That is so excellent. All right. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for the rest of today's reading, yeah? Here we go. Hi, spirit. 
Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, November 26th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this three shuffles. But now, interestingly enough, I am seeing green and I'm seeing yellow. So I do feel like that is speaking to, well, first of all, it represents the, the heart chakra and the solar plexus. So it, there is a little bit of maybe you're dealing with a head over heart situation. Well, not head over heart, but will willpower over heart situation. But also this is speaking to some of you are definitely in the process of healing your will because it has been um, reshaped or manipulated by some people in your past. And really it was only manipulated in ways to ultimately serve them, whether that be parents, other family members, uh, religious leaders, stuff, things like that. People in power. But it's like you're gaining your power back. And thus, and actually, in you gaining your power back, some of you didn't realize this yet, or some of you. Well, some of you didn't realize this before or haven't realized this yet, but in you healing your willpower, regaining your will, you're actually also healing your heart chakra. For some of you, you didn't realize how paralyzed you were in your heart because of how strongly manipulated your willpower has been. It's like as you gain this sense of identity back, your heart opens up, which thing, when you think about it logically, that makes perfect sense. And yet it isn't necessarily something that you would initially put together, put two and two together. Like it's not, or at least it feels like it was something that was more ambiguous than you might think. Very nice, guys. Okay. All right. So let's get this three shuffles here, and then we'll see what else we've got for today. One more. All right. Here we go, guys. What would you like to discuss with us today, Spirit? Best messages for the collective. For the collective. For the collective. Nothing yet, huh? Okay. Again, I apologize if you're if if all of that construction sound is bleeding into the mic. This mic is way more sensitive, so it picks up a lot, especially a lot from the street. But it deals what would what it deals. <laughs> it deals what it deals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. Tuesday, November twenty sixth, twenty nineteen. Ooh, there we go. Okay, they're saying one more shuffle, please. So we will do that. And my eyes are closed, so I don't know what's fallen. Last shuffle here for Tuesday, November 26th, 2019. Yeah, a lot of heart chakra activity. A lot of heart chakra activity. Because now my, my attention is being brought back to that green color. Okie dokie. So we have the five. Wow. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we have the five of wands, but we also have the two of wands. You know, I really feel like somebody is, somebody is going in a brand new direction and other people do not like it because you also have this five of swords. But here's the thing about this five of swords. I feel like this is more of an against all odds energy. And somebody I was watching that I, I've only ever watched once, I actually don't even remember the name of her channel, so I couldn't get back to her. If I tried, I'd have to like dig into my, my watch history. And I don't even know if it goes back that far, but she, she described the Five of Swords this way, and it really stuck with me. It makes a whole lot of sense. There is definitely, but, 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 uh, so there's, but there's definitely an energy of 
betrayal, deceit, backstabbing, whatnot, whatever, with that five of swords. But it looks like, especially with this side of the six of wands, nobody's going to stop you. Because look, this is these people are are bloody. They're they're battered. You know, the sky is gray. They just looks like they just dealt with a really tough battle, okay? And yet they've come out victorious. So between that and this Ace of Pentacles here, okay? So there's that Ace of Pentacles again. You're really fighting for yourself, really fighting for yourself against all odds. Now you might be dealing with some sort of internal conflict i do feel like some of you are dealing with with an internal uh battle about whether to break free from the situation or not this could have to do with family it feels like the, the ties that you are breaking free from they feel very strong like family so maybe it's not necessarily family as a whole it could be friends colleagues people that you identified or vibed with for a very long time you guys know each other quite well or at least but you see that's the thing do they know you that well and how well do you know these people i mean you're going through this massive transformation you're going in you're basically becoming a brand new person and for some of you they these people that you're breaking free from don't know anything about this side of you because you've never let it out before You've never even alluded to the fact that you have this change in your psyche or in your, your, per, your personality, I guess. Your identity, I guess, right? And yet, even though you may be having this inner conflict, you still have the two of wands here. All right? And I really get a very strong feeling that whatever decision it, it is that you have made to move in whichever direction you're going in, it's something you've considered for a good amount of time. This is not, this is not a decision that you've made all willy-nilly, Knight of Wands style, uh, 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 flying by the seat of your pants type, let's just, let's just do something fun and spontaneous. No, this is a major life decision, a major life change, and you are fighting tooth and nail to get out of it or to get out of whatever it is has been established to move into the next opportunity for yourself, Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, okay? Beautiful. I'm going to tell you something, you guys, and the universe did just um, confirm this, but whatever it is you're fighting for, you're striving for, it is absolutely worth it. Now, I don't know specifically what that is for you, but the universe is said, I can assure you, the universe just said, whatever it is you're striving for or fighting for, it is absolutely worth it, okay? So don't let any of that doubt energy creep in there. <laughs> That's what they just said. So don't let any of that doubt energy creep in, all right? You're doing the right thing, so just keep going. <laughs> okay, excellent. So... Let's move on to some clarification for you guys, yeah? Okay. So I want to look a little deeper into this energy here for you. Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Be careful because there are some people around you that are going to try and tear you down. They don't want to see you change. They don't want to see you evolve. They don't want to see you grow. It's very much a misery loves company type of energy. All right. Getting that from this five of swords. So just be careful. Be cautious. Don't don't go looking for a fight, but also don't allow anyone to walk all over you. OK, and if you have to fight, then try to be as honorable as you can. I don't know where that came from, but whomever it's for, you'll get it. <clears throat> Alrighty, kids. I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then we will see what we've got here. We're going to look a little deeper into this for you guys. All right. Let's look a little deeper here. Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Get a little more actually you know what i really just want to clarify this five of swords right now so let's do that oh shit well damn <laughs> oh my god you guys wow 
Overall energy is the Two of Pentacles. See, now what the Two of Pentacles is representing here is, or what it's saying to me now, is that you have a greater sense of balance. You have a greater understanding <clears throat> of what a truer form of balance is for yourself, for your life, but potentially for like all around. Okay. Looky here, y'all. Looky. Oh my goodness. Wow. So look, the Hierophant came back out. He came out with the Ten of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and Judgment. So yo, y'all are finally, someone here is finally letting go of something that has been long, long standing. Whatever, what that Hierophant energy might be. I don't know what that is for you. But key words here in terms of the Hierophant. Um, <clears throat> religion, dogma, tradition, university, government, conformity, society. Also teaching and learning. All right, the Hierophant doesn't have to be all bad. Okay, but in this case... <laughs> Ten of Swords, I'm going to say it probably was not the best or the greatest for you, <laughs> okay? Now, and it doesn't mean, and again, keep in mind that just because I'm saying it wasn't the greatest for you, ultimately that doesn't mean it's, again, all that bad. It's just something that doesn't work for you. And you're finally letting go of it. You're finally releasing yourself of it. You're finally removing yourself from that. Now, that doesn't mean that these people or this, these, this Hierophant energy is going to really be all that accepting of that in the beginning. Why? Because the Hierophant here is very rigid, is masculine energy. It is fixed, okay? It's my way or the highway, says the Hierophant, right? In many cases, the Hierophant says his way is the only way rather than it's my way or the highway. My way is the only way. To reach salvation, blah, 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 what not, whatever. To save your sinning soul, blah, blah. No, man. Bye, Felicia. Judgment. Rising above it, ten of swords. Putting it to rest. Right? You also have here the queen of cups, the moon, whew, the knight of swords, and the nine of wands. So... Yeah, for this Knight of Swords energy, I feel like somebody is setting the record straight or maybe already has set the record straight. But here's that Queen of Cups again, facing, facing whatever. Because remember, the Queen of Cups came out with the Hierophant in the pre-shuffle, okay? So I feel like you're facing here the illusion. Ooh, you know what I just heard? Illusions of grandeur. That's what you're facing. You're coming to emotional turn, uh, emotional... Um, terms with it you're coming to terms with it emotionally but here's the other thing i really do feel like and, and this doesn't have to be feminine or masculine okay you could be you could be a man you could be a woman you could be a feminine energy you could be more of a masculine energy it doesn't matter okay this this anybody could be going through this right now i'm not really picking up anything specific it really could be either side of the equation <clears throat> but who, whomever is going through this is absolutely using their intuition to help guide them here, to help guide them through the darkness, to help guide them through the illusion, the moon, okay? Perseverance, nine of wands, knight of swords. All right, don't give up, guys. Defend yourselves with all you have if you have to. It's your right to live as you choose, not the way other people tell you. And just because someone else doesn't necessarily agree with your life or where you're heading or what you're doing with yourself, that doesn't mean that you have to really care. <laughs> you know? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So now, let's get Spirit's take on this. And specifically, I want to ask advice. So... For whomever is going through this right now, I want to get some advice for you. Direct channel from Spirit, okay? Look, there's that Ace of Pentacles again and the Nine of Pentacles, all right? So for, you're, you are creating a new opportunity for yourself. You're creating a new physical reality for yourself by 
standing up and, and striking out on your own and claiming your independence and sovereignty. Okay? Beautiful. So, let's get some advice for you guys. Let's see what we've got for today. Advice, please, spirit, for whomever is going through this, this struggle. Okay. Overall, okay, there you go. There you go. And there is the counterpart to the Hierophant, the High Priestess. This is the higher wisdom, the universal knowledge, the spiritual, higher spiritual wisdom secrets being revealed for sure the knight of cups seven of pentacles strength king of swords and queen of pentacles well damn would you look at that that's the balance between masculine and feminine energy this queen this king of swords here is protecting the queen of pentacles and is and it, well, yes, the King of Swords is protecting the Queen of Pentacles, but also it's like, and this is this is why I really could not feel where whether this is like more masculine, a more masculine entity that's going through this, or a more feminine. This could be either, or it could be both. But it's someone here that is really working on balancing their masculine and feminine energy. So the advice from Spirit with these two cards, if you haven't already gotten here, is to embody the principles of the Queen of Pentacles. Hold on, don't do that yet, Eric. The Queen of Pentacles, which is a nurturing energy, a mother, you know, the wife, um, nurturer, provider. Uh, she's very grounded. She's very stable. She's very loving, okay? And she's very much willing to be there for Whomever, who, whomever she loves or whomever she calls family, friends, whatnot, whatever. But she does not take, she does not allow her kindness to be taken for weakness and she does not allow herself to be manipulated and abused and used and taken for granted. As soon as that happens, she'll make steps to cut that out. The King of Swords is a very diplomatic, very compassionate when he needs to be. He's the judge. He is wise. He sees things as, he, as they truly are, or he strives to see things as they truly are. And here, I feel like the King of Swords energy is the energy where someone is, is from which someone is coming forward and making some certain cuts. From the Queen of Pentacles perspective, the strongest message from her is know your worth and don't take anything less than what you are worthy of than what you deserve. Do not accept anything less than that in your life. Then that brings you to the King of Swords. Okay, we know our worth, so what here does not align? What here does not fit? Whatever doesn't fit, we're cutting it out. That brings us to strength. The strength, the wherewithal. In some cases, people would even say the audacity to hold your own. To stand up for yourself, to do what is right for you, to be the master of your own domain, to not allow, not allow yourself to be manipulated by external circumstances, external forces, or other people and their agendas, right? It seems here that the advice from spirit is also to look at what you've learned and move forward with an open heart. You learned through the contrast, is what Spirit is saying. And that is helping you. And, and, and for many of you, it's been in a very inadvertent way or maybe a backhanded way, but your, your heart has opened up way more than it has ever been, which actually is allowing you to, number one, take your power back and assert yourself. But number two, to recognize that there are some elements out here that really just don't serve you and probably don't serve a lot of other people either. But that's a decision and a choice they need to make for themselves. You are technically leading by example. You don't have to preach. You don't have to convince people to follow you. If they want to follow you, they will. 
when the time is right. Okay? This is beautiful energy, you guys. This is really great. Congratulations to whomever this is. And, and it's funny because I say congratulations and then, and then I hear somebody say, really? I'm not, f I mean, thanks for the congratulations, but like, damn, this is really difficult. This is really tough. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But you're breaking free. And that is definitely a good thing. Okay. All right. So let's get our Oracle Guidance to close out the reading today. This is a shorter one today. And we're going with the dragons. The dragons. <laughs> All right. Closing message for the collective, please, spirit. There could, this actually really could, now that I think about it, this really could be a feminine energy that's going through this. I don't know why that just came to me. It just, I, I just got that feeling. This actually really could be a feminine individual. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. It's energy, okay? Okay, maybe I was just, also maybe probably just feeling this Queen of Pentacles energy. Because the fem if we're talking like divine counterparts, twin flames, whatnot, whatever, and if you don't resonate with the twin flame journey and all that stuff, don't worry about it, okay? Um, but in terms of that, the feminine has very much been in this queen of pentacles energy for some time now, knowing her worth and not taking anything less. Queen of pentacles, king of swords. Very nice. Very, very nice, guys. All right. Oracle Guidance to close out the reading today for Tuesday, November 26th. Yeah, the color yellow is very strong in the, in the, in the collective right now, which is speaking to your solar plexus and your willpower. Yeah. So we got Royal Blue and Gold Dragon strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majest majesty. Wear your cloak of pride. I'm sorry. Wear your cloak of power with pride. This kind of feels like the perfect energy for someone that's breaking free of something right now, doesn't it? Sure does to me. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Royal blue and gold dragon. And fifth dimensional dragon. Okay. Which makes sense. Okay. So. The royal blue and gold, oh, I'm sorry, royal blue and gold are the colors of majesty, dignity, and illumined achievement. Royal blue and gold dragons carry these qualities and prompt us to stand in our magnificent, magnificence and true power. These fifth dimensional dragons come to us when they see royal blue and gold in our aura, indicating that we hold wisdom with power in perfect balance, which has been earned from our connections with the golden era of Atlantis. We may have been incarnate or in spirit at that time, but we were living or serving on a higher path. The dragons will swirl around us, reminding us who we truly are and breathing light into our energy fields to reawaken our ancient gifts and talents so that we can utilize them once more in service. They will re-energize your cloak, I'm sorry, our cloak of power and wisdom so that we can wear it with pride. The guidance here says, a royal blue and gold dragon is, up, is, late, is lighting up the gifts and talents you carry in your aura. It is breathing courage, support, and dignity into you so that you can wear your cloak of power and wisdom with pride. Most important of all, it is awakening you to who you truly are. It is enabling you to radiate your special light. This dragon is always with you. It holds your sword of truth so Archangel Michael can enable you to speak and act with truth and honor at all times. It roars at those who try to diminish you and befriends those who empower you. You have all the support you need to teach divine majesty by example. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you.
I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.